Welcome to our SQA I.O. training video on setting up the system defaults. Begin by selecting Settings from the Navigation menu. Click User Management. To comply with user traceability guidelines, the SQA I.O. provides three levels of user access rights. Basic, Editor, and admin. These three levels of SQA IO access are clearly defined in the SQA IO user guide. Click this button to create a new SQA IO user. Enter the username, title, email, and phone number. A temporary password will automatically be assigned to the new user and they can now log in to the SQA I.O. using their email and temporary password. Click here to update or change the status of a user. Delete a user and enable his access to the SQA I.O. website by clicking on this icon. This action cannot be undone. Click User Profile to change your password. Upload your report signature here. Here is where you can add your profile picture. It will only be shown when you are logged into the SQA IO interface. Make sure to save your changes. Click Facility Profile to add or change company information. Define the titles of the test report optional fields here. Add your facility logo here and it will appear on the Seaman Analysis Report. Click Test Patient to select the default settings for semen testing in your lab. Assign titles to the optional fields. The titles will appear on the Test Patient screen and Test Report. Select how to report patient information. Check the boxes to format the test report. Click Save to apply the settings defaults. Click Defaults to return the settings back to their original configuration. Set the reference values for semen test results based on WHO or based on laboratory protocols and preferences. Make sure to save your changes.
Check this box to determine the WHO version used to report semen analysis test results. Thank you for watching the SQA IO setting up defaults video. View other SQA IO for more training videos.